Hello and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 22 on Somerset Farms. As you can see, we've just quickly topped up the water. I only put, well, uh, to be honest, the greenhouse is split 10,000 litres and the maple took a whole 10,000 litres. Just kind of wanted to do that off recording just as my kids were like leaving to go to school and college. Um, but yeah, that's, that's another job down for now. Um, I do think actually we need to go... Let me just have a little look at the sheep, because I know they take water. Um, yeah, they've got 10,000 litres, but they are obviously breeding a lot quicker now and things like that. And uh, yeah, we need we need that tractor as well. We need the red one, but we'll go and uh, take a bit of water with us, I think. I don't think that's going to really hurt too much, just running up with, with a bit of water. I like that um, harvester there. I might put a shed there in the middle. And we can use this a little uh, roundabout. But yeah, basically today's episode we're going to have to get this straw off the floor. Um, hopefully, there's enough time to get cultivated. We, we're still not even dinner time yet in July, so we'll, you know we've got a bit of time in July. We're still playing on three times. We've got plenty of uh, stuff to be getting on with. It'll be a lot easier when we're doing this field on the left-hand side. We won't have as far to travel. Um, yeah, at the moment just traveling for the uh, straw it, it's an extra couple of minutes wasted every journey i say a couple of minutes it's like what 40 50 seconds although saying that this tractor is faster than the other one all right let's get this over there we'll leave this tractor up here like i say i want to get straight on with this straw just want to get I just want to keep it topped up basically that's literally all I'm trying to do is just keep things topped up I don't like that water that water trigger is so far away like right on the edge yeah as you can see water's going in there now that's looking good should it didn't even take it all oh, that's handy right it'll do it'll do we're not we're not that bothered um let's just get this around here park that up there i just want it more out of the way than anything else Let's uh, let's go clear out this top field. Like I say, it needs to be done as quickly as uh, as possible. It's literally just going to be a case of going up and down and up and down and up and down. Like I say, we don't exactly have a very big um, forage wagon. I wanted to buy one because we are using one a lot. I bought the one I could afford. Really, I even looked on Modub. Just in case it was like any other ones, I was like, oh, you know, it's a bigger capacity one. Now, the only bigger one is was about £50,000. Um, it's the one we've got on Attingham. Now, the one on Attingham was actually a rented piece of equipment. We did rent it. But I could have I could have argued the case, but we could have bought it. Yeah, it holds... Tw uh, actually, I think it holds more than twice as much as this. get this uh, we'll get these uh, headlands done we'll get all this yep looking forward to this money in the bank for the straw like I say hopefully people are like yeah get the straw process business you know yeah, I know it's not like a I didn't want to do production you see but I just don't know what else I'm gonna do with all this straw and straw is not really worth out but if I could put it in a, into a production maybe maybe I'm, I'm I don't know I'm arguing with myself over it I would actually get a bank loan to buy it as well, just so we could actually do something else with the straw. And all I would do is I would just use the straw money to pay off the loan, you know, like we do with the wool. Makes sense to do that. Right, 
I really enjoy playing the series. I kind of don't want it to end, you see. That's that's my thing. But if we don't do any productions, it is going to be... I don't know. We've got, the, we've got to sort the pigs out. Yeah, I haven't really done pigs on this series yet. You know, on uh, Farm Team 22. It's been out a year and I've hardly done pigs. I just know pigs are a lot of work. And I'm trying to be like, hmm... Do I really want to be messing around with pigs? Oh, that was a very bad... Uh, the, the super wide tyres on this give this such an awful turning circle. Seven percent. Just trying to top this up now. Yeah, it only holds like sixteen thousand. It is. It is a really, really small, um, small forage wagon. It is the only issue I have with this one. Is just how little it is. But for the price that we paid, I don't know, I suppose we can't really moan. Don't mind doing the odd time lapse, um, try and get this done a little bit. But I just wanted to do at least one before we went into a time lapse. As I say, we've got a lot of straw to do, a lot of straw. And it's not necessarily the picking the straw up that's the problem, it's this bit. I think, personally, it takes just as long to get there and back as it does to actually fill this, uh, this trailer. Oh, it's so much quieter in the cab. We do need to wash our equipment as well. I think once harvest season's, like, completely out of the way, I think we'll have, uh, I think we'll get everything washed. lift my foot off the accelerator yeah it looked like I did there we go. yeah I kind of want one of these buildings up at the top for any future straw but I, I kind of want to grow sorghum and canola up, up on the top you know something that doesn't need straw so we do grow straw uh, we do grow straw we do grow sorghum and we do do canola so if we put canola and straw um, in future up on field 39 we won't have to do this running around. Have a, have a quick look. Yep, nothing new in the shop. Yeah, it's gonna be gonna be a bit of a busy day today. So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna put on a time lapse, and I'm gonna do. The rest of the field at the top, like I say, the driving up and down is just absolutely... It, it's not killing me per se on, like, here, but you guys watching me drive up and down, you're going to watch me drive up and down more than we are actually picking up the straw. Um, so I'm going to put a time lapse on, we're going to get that top field done, and uh, we'll come back once it's clear and we start into uh, field 29.
Right, there we go. We've got the majority of the straw off the ground. I'm not going to get much time, I don't think, to cultivate in this episode. I think that's going to go into the uh, into the next one. Um, oh, it's a blow. It's a shame. It's nice. I thought if that had, a, that had been a mulcher, I'd have been laughing. Um, 22... Technically that one's biggest, that one would do the job, but yeah, we'll, we'll lease that one like we normally do. It works at a bit higher speed, it's a bit wider, it means we might be able to get mulch today then. We've only got to mulch the two fields. We're not going to get time to, uh, well, we're not going to be changing day today, so... August is probably going to be in the next episode. I definitely just want to get mulch today though, that has to... That has to happen today. We have to mulch today. Well, we have to mulch in July anyway. I say today. Oh, I should have gone the other side. I've got a bit left over. Yeah, I think we've got maybe maybe one, two, two, two at a push. Um trail loads now i know this is going to turn it into silage like i say i had any comments to say yeah get the straw process in or no don't get it that's why i've just put this one in but we're gonna have a lot more straw coming over the next you know the rest of the harvest i think to be honest well sorghum and soya being worn i'm sure there's more uh, straw to come if there isn't then next time we will uh, we'll own the we'll own the business ready get that turned off just to speed this up a little bit yeah I, I had to put it on a bit of a time guys otherwise it's gonna be two days of basically just doing straw and I've got I haven't got anything else to do until the straw's gone you see so I am it's not like although I could have I could have mulched that top field I suppose I kind of don't want to rent it until I'm ready to do both fields that's the issue because once we've mulched we then have to plow well Plowing's not the end of the world because what we'll do is we'll get a worker plowing on our farm. I don't really like to have workers on our farm, but like for example, if I need it plowing in August and I've got a, uh, a harvest to do, I would rather do the harvest than do the uh, than the plowing. We are definitely making good progress, like I say. Couple of fields a day. Or if you just do fields like two at a time, it'd be brilliant. It, it, my issue would be is if they're all ready on the same day. And it's like, oh crap. Way more work to do than I need to. I just don't know if to leave the fields empty over winter and just plant spring barley and stuff again. Or if we uh, should grow. Because to be honest, it would be better just planting spring barley it would give us more time to do different things it would give us more time to do the field prep I, uh, wheat and barley i could plant in is it april or march i still ready in june yeah well july Oh, I can plant it in August and it's still not ready till July of the next year, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, spring barley and spring wheat definitely, um, it's definitely a shorter time scale, it gives us more time to do the field prep and things like that. But then it means that the crops we can't grow and the grains we can't grow. Um, in spring, we can, it gives us more time to do them. So yeah, I might, I might do that again. I might do that. I think uh, wheat and barley can just get planted in, uh, well, in spring. And whatever needs to be done in like August, September time is what we'll do in August and September time. Well, that was one more load. I'm hoping we can squeeze it all in in the next one, to be honest. There's not much more to go. Um, but yeah, we just want calendar. I right, look at this. Wheat, barley, and oat can all be planted in March. I'd rather plant that in March, to be honest. It means we're not necessarily fighting to get the field. Although saying that, what have we got next? 
Duncan or we got we don't have another field ready, do we? No, but we do have you know, we've got two fields next time. And then when they go dark green when they go yellow, that one should go dark green. Yeah, we've got we've got a bit of work to do. I don't know. We'll we'll see. I'm definitely thinking of uh spring barley from the march. Like I say, it just gives us it. Although I tell you what we'll do, we'll do it a different way. I'm, I know I'm, all, I'm I'm just constantly changing my mind here. We'll see what we can get planted. If, for example, canola needs planting today, for example, or in August, we'll get canola planted. If we run out of time, that's what you know. What I mean, we'll leave the uh, the wheat and the barley until last to be planted. That way, if we don't get enough time to plant it, we'll plant it in March. I think that's the easiest way. Um, but yeah, I can't. I can't keep putting straw in this thing. It's just going to make us way too much money too quick. And I, I believe it's an unreal. If straw could be turned to silage, surely that would be in the game. Like I say, we're only doing it because we've got that little uh, fermenter building. Like I say, I, I could technically sell the straw, but it's... there and just coughing my guts up yeah i'm feeling i'm feeling loads better in myself today um to be honest i had a cracking night's sleep i uh i took some like cold and flu tablets last night made me a bit drowsy i took myself off to bed and i just i i slept so well i know the wife was snoring because she snores every night like like a fog on snore and it didn't even wake me up. And now if anyone's like, oh, well, how do you know she snored? She snored every night for the last 15 years. I'm sure she's not going to have stopped last night just because I was feeling under the weather. <laughs> she's not that considerate. <laughs> right, last three little bits, guys, and we have got this down yeah we'll definitely get these uh need to get these molds i need to just have a look what's ready tomorrow if for example soya bean and sorghum is ready there's no point mulching this field today and i'll tell you the reason why and now i'm thinking cost here rental fee if there's no straw to be picked up once we've harvested we can just mulch all four fields we know the mulch is really really quick it works at like your maximum speed and we know it's like nine meters wide which is probably the widest tool we even own but well, we don't own it but no so what i'm thinking here is if it's sorghum and soya bean that's ready tomorrow there's no point mulching today because we're gonna have to rent the fee. We're gonna have to rent it today, and then we'll have an overnight fee for tomorrow. If we rent it in one day and there's no straw to pick up, we can just literally harvest two fields, boom, mulch all four fields at once. Please fit in here. Please fit in here. Please fit in here. I don't really want to come back. And there we go. Well, that's all the straw off the ground. Yeah, I really want to mulch today, but obviously I'm trying to get a, I'm trying to get a hundred percent. Yeah, there's no fertilising on these fields. Let me just have a quick skeg what these are while we're here. We've got barley. No, you see that's, yeah, crap. Field twelve. Field twelve sorghum. No, so we're going to have to... Yeah, we're going to have straw tomorrow with the barley field. That's a shame. 
But do you know what I mean? I'm just trying to save a little bit of money. If we'd have... Um, we'd, we need to buy that mulcher. We need to buy that mulcher. <coughs> yeah, we're going to have a lot of straw to get again tomorrow. That's a shame. That's, that's a real shame because it means we're going to have to get the... Uh, we're going to have to pay the overnight fee. We're going to have to figure out how much the overnight fee is. Because we may not have enough money. We may not have enough money for the overnight fee. Um. Ah. No, we, we're, it's fine. It's fine. It's not going to cost a lot. But yeah, that is... Um, that is all the straw done for now, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, I, we'll definitely go get the mulcher then. We'll go get the mulcher and we'll get uh, we'll get them two fields done. So yeah, it could be a bit of a longer episode. I, I'll time. I'll change the time lapse to try and narrow it down a little bit. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely want to get the uh, the mulching done if I can. We only just made that, didn't we? Yeah, we need to look at buying a side mower as well. So we, you know, we do have to be a little bit careful with money at the moment. Um, we can't sell any of the grain until we're looking December to December to February, really, depending on what it is. So we've got six months to try and. But well, we're going to have to do some contracts. We're, we're not going to survive the autumn without... Now, we're obviously, when the money comes rolling in for the uh, for the grain, fantastic. We'll make some money. We'll buy some fields. We'll expand. But, yeah, it's going to be a little bit on the costly side. For now, we've definitely got to... Um, survive and like I say now down to 4,500 <coughs> you know we, we're gonna have to rent the um, yeah I don't have the money to buy it do I I want the slurry tanker to be honest I really 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 want the slurry tanker we don't have a lot of slurry but again we keep leasing it And for me, I feel like a leasing fee is like dead in the water. We might as well do uh, the first field on our left. And then we'll drive up to the top. But we can either send it back or we can keep it overnight. I think we'll just... I think we'll keep the rental fee overnight. Let's just hope we uh, we do actually manage to get it done in August. But we'll do the barley field first. Then we'll do the sorghum field in the next one. And then... Um, that way, we've, once we've done the sorghum, we can get straight on with mulching. Then we'll do the straw and... Yeah. lifts me off the floor there yeah I don't have much time left to record because I've got my dog at the vets today I do want to get this done I just don't want to uh, just don't want to drag this into another episode really you know July Like I say, it, I think personally this mod's a little bit broken because it does technically have a speed limit. It just never works. Um, 
But yeah, when, when I'm trying to get a little bit of work done like this and I'm kind of pushed for time as well, you know, in the episode, the length of the videos, this, this works brilliantly for what I need, to be honest. Whoa! Yeah, that that is actually starting to be a little bit pain in the ass. I had it with the uh, harvester as well. Although ideally, I should, in theory, really um, shut them gates when I come in. Yeah, like I said, this this is like a five minute job with this thing. Like I said, the mod does technically have a speed limit in the file, it just never seems to really, really work. I know I haven't really done much of a headland on that top bit, but that's just because I want to get this down there. Lovely. Literally just racing along as quickly as I can. Lovely. Not even bothered if there's like gaps and stuff, we'll get it all. It's it's mega quick doing this. I've never really been a fan of like the mulching side of it because it's like mm, it's kind of time consuming. But then when this mod came out, it was like well, it takes literally five minutes. Kind of speeds the job up, and I do like that about this mulcher. Like I say, I know it's. I think like the mods are a little bit broken with it not actually having a speed restriction but if the mod gets fixed fair enough but it, if it doesn't you know there's not really much I can do about it it's cheap enough to rent I know there is one cheaper to rent the, the problem is the one that's cheaper to rent is also 30% smaller in uh, in width Ugh, I missed a bit Get that bit done there. Let me get that lifted before I damage that other field, because that's our field. There we go. Lovely. Yeah, this ended up being a really, really good field. We got loads of grain off this field. Yeah, I could technically tidy the corners up and get a little bit more, but I kind of like the sweeping edges. You've seen me do the headlands now a few times. I just like to keep the harvester rolling, to be honest. I kind of just wish um, that's how the AI did it as well. The AI wastes a lot of money on wages when doing like, you know, like the U-turns and the, or the three-point turns, depending on what you want to call it. Um, yeah, yeah, I find it wastes a lot of money doing that. And I just prefer to uh, have like nice sweeping corners and... There's a bit we missed. Yep. I think we did mulch all this field. Well, no, we didn't. We did leave a little bit just there. Ugh, I still missed a bit on the way bloody out. Bloody hell. Oh, did I miss a bit or did is it, is it no yeah I did actually just miss a bit and that should now be mulched let's have a gander we missed a bit over in that corner apparently not worried about that <laughs> I 
I love how it lifts this uh, the back wheels off the floor. But yeah, we'll get this mulched up here on this field, guys, and uh, that's a good place to be. Get edited. I'll get it. Trying to get it uploaded. Get in there. Oh, we're looking for animal feed. I know. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. We do need to uh, look at renting the total mix ration machine soon. You know, the mixer. Um, kind of just want to feed them. Oh. oh! I love that. Look at that. You can actually see the engine fan. I've never noticed that with this tractor. You can see the little yellow engine fan. Mulching. Alright, I'm trying to turn the machine on, guys, and it, it doesn't technically turn on. I never thought of these corners been a problem. Um, things like mulching. To be honest, I think it's just because of how wide the machine is, to be honest. And then that tree's always in my way. We might look at taking that tree out, actually. It, it was in the way for the cedar. It was in the way for the harvest. I might have even taken that out. Remember, I had to reset the sheep area. You might have brought that tree back in, actually. Who knows? Who knows? Let's get going. The only downside to doing this is I was going to put the front mower on this and then the forage wagon on the back and cut the grass on the edge of the field while there's no crop. The problem is the mulching's kind of flattening it all and now I'm not going to have any grass around here left to cut. So that, that kind of sucks a little bit. Kind of sucks a little bit because that was going to be like the extra silage. Um tell you what I'm thinking of doing though just because I'm thinking maybe if we don't no I do I still need a grass field that's the problem I was gonna say if we end up not putting the straw processing in and then I always end up making it into silage I was thinking maybe what if we uh, went well look we don't need a grass field so uh, we'll get rid of the grass field we've got we turn that back into a grain field the problem is I do still need grass because I need hay and I have not cut grass this year yet for hay so I need to cut the grass if we make a mixture for the cows we need well we need hay so we're gonna have to cut the grass as soon as possible to be honest because it takes two days to grow back and I'd like to try and get it cut a second time if it's possible because um, we don't make we don't get much grass. The downside to expanding all the fields to the edge was we lost all the grass on the edge, you know. We lost all the grass. Um, so, yeah. Kind of sucks, because, you know, loss of grass means no hay, which means no grass. And in general, it's... Yeah, and I'm not going to buy hay. We're not in a position to buy here. Although we could be in a position if we were to continue making straw silage. Because we get a lot of straw. 
But if everyone's like, no, Matt, get the uh, get the straw production. Obviously, then we end up buying that. It's uh, different. I wouldn't be making straw sacks. Oh, sorry, guys. Caught me. Uh, caught me microphone there. Scratching my head, went to put my hand down and caught my microphone, so I do apologise for the big oof. Yeah, that is, uh, that's the mulching done. But like I say, a bit of a, bit of a longer episode, or it feels like it for the recording time, but I haven't done any time lapses lately, so it feels like I've been literally playing the game for hours. I, I probably have. But obviously you guys on a time lapse get, kind of get to uh, skip a lot of the, the straw picking up. But we've mulched so we need to uh, we need to get a worker in here now with the uh, option to plough. Like I say we're going to plough every field. We're going to do it the same way every time. I want a hundred percent yield. I don't want 95, 98. I want a hundred percent. One hundred percent. That is what I want. And what are we looking on at the moment? Well, obviously zero. <coughs> but yeah, look at that. We're going to have 200,000 litres of silage soon. And silage price in January. Although to be fair, silage is not a great price on this map. Um, so, right, so we're in we're in July, aren't we? So January is the best day, but September could maybe get rid of the milk. Um, June twenty fourth, sixty four. No, I'm just trying to think if there's a way of bringing in some extra cash right now. Um, potatoes, let's just have a look at the difference in price on potatoes. 378. Wow, yeah, we're like a hundred pound. Yeah, we are literally at the worst price. And what is the other one? Lettuce, isn't it? Isn't it? Lettuce, 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 lettuce. Wow, that's not a bad price when it comes. That's not, that's not a bad price now, to be fair. Oh, it is actually. Oh, hang on. There's only 300 pound difference. Between the lowest and the highest price. It's hardly worth anything. Lettuce might be something we just sell as and when we need cash. If there's only £300 per thousand litre. So it's £150 less per crate-ish. I'm only roughly working out there. It's about £150 per crate less. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Um, but yeah, guys, I say we've got that done. We are uh, we're looking good there. Maybe in the next episode we might we might still be in July because it does give me chance to put some uh, slurry down in a field. <laughs> Try and get a bit of field preparation done. Like I say, I'm not going to change it off three times. If we've got time, we might get some field prep. I've got a bit of slurry. We can definitely get slurry in the ground. Um. We need to put canola in in August. So August is going to be planting and harvesting. Because, well... I take it... Barley we planted in April, which is why it's not ready till August. Right. I'm with you. Right. So, yeah. The barley field could have been ready this month if we'd have done it in time. But we planted two fields at a time, which is why two fields are ready at the same time. That's fine. August. Yes, I'm just looking. Yeah, so August and barley will be ready then. But we need to get canola. So we need to get canola in the ground in August. We have to get. We have to get that in the ground. So in the next episode, we'll stay in July. We will field prep one field. Um, canola, so we'll put canola up by the sheep, so that's the easiest thing we'll do, we'll get, uh, we'll rent the, 
the slurry tank. We'll get the slurry up on that top field. We'll get it ploughed out. Sounds like a plan. We know exactly what we're going to do in the next episode. And uh, what we'll do here is we'll just have a quick look at slurry tanks. How much is that going to be to lease? 900. This is where the money goes, you see. Um, I really want to buy that. I really like that thing. That's a, that's not too bad. That That's actually a really cheap one. The problem I've got is it only holds 3,200 litres. And it's only 5 metres wide. This is 14,000 by 10 metres. Do you know what I mean? It gets it spread a lot quicker. Although that's not bad. It doesn't hold as much, but it is a wider spread. That's a default one as well. Oh, so many choices to choose from. But yeah, guys, I do massively appreciate everybody watching the uh, episode and the series. If you haven't already, please hit the thumbs up on the video. If you enjoy it, if you enjoy the series, if you enjoy Attingham Park series as well, you know, possibly think about hitting the subscribe button. Hey, honestly, all these little things, guys, make such a big difference to a small YouTube channel. Literally, such a small such a small thing like giving it a thumbs up makes such a huge huge difference to a very small channel like mine um if anyone's interested and plays on pc we do have attingham park that is co-op so if anybody wants to play we're always looking for people to help on the farm you know contracts run trailers you know just help us just in general um yes you know do water run you know, just every, everyday farm work basically so yeah, if anyone's interested in that, we should be recording that in the next day or two. Like I said, all I ask for that is obviously you play on PC because of the mods we use. And you are in the Discord so you can find out what day it is we're going to record and well, be in the Discord so you know what to do. Uh, but for now guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all later on. Bye bye.